Hey, um, Sagittarius, how are you guys doing? Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, this is going to be a general reading to oh shit. <laughs> this is going to be a general reading to see who or what is coming towards you in love. Please take the rest uh the messages how I'm so tongue tied this morning. It's the coffee. But please um take the re the messages however they resonate for your situation, okay? Um they can be interchangeable and vice versa. Okay? Could be happening now in the near future or the future. All right, Saggy, Sagittarius, let's see what is going on in this love thing for you guys. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Who or what is coming towards them in love spirit? Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Who or what is coming towards them in love? Damn, that was quick. <laughs> Oh, all right, Sagittarius. So you have invisible confidence and cycles. Okay. The bottom of the deck is the seat in the reverse. Interesting, interesting. So let us see what the romance angels have to say. going on with this love thing hopefully no crazy people show up in the reading <laughs> who are what's coming towards Sagittarius in love please spirit show me what I need to see for Sagittarius who are what's coming towards them in love Sagittarius, Sagittarius. all right okay you know I really don't think that has anything to do with it okay but we have past life past life relationship so let's see what this is all about Who or what's coming towards Sagittarius and love, please? Ooh, hey, <laughs> that's so cool. You guys show up, but if that's in the reverse, Queen of Wands. Who or what's coming towards the Sagittarius collective and love? The Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Who or what's coming towards Sagittarius and love? Okay, so you guys could be dealing with another fire sign or any earth sign or what's coming towards Sagittarius and love. The Ace of Wands in the reverse, the Seven of Pentacles. One more card. Six of Swords in the reverse, okay. Ooh, Sagittarius, I got some tea for you guys. So whoever the hell is coming towards you, Sagittarius, this person is extremely insecure. Yeah. You may or may not know that, but um, this is someone who almost like they've had the intention to come towards you. They, they've had the intention to, they have plans, but when it's in the reverse, it, it means like there's no movement at all. Someone could be having trouble with their finances. Ooh, yeah. Sagittarius, you're dealing with someone who's just, they're just a whole mess. But I'm not even trying to make fun of anyone, but I mean, literally, this person is a mess. And I feel like you've been waiting for something to come of this connection. Um, you're starting to get very frustrated. But some way, somehow, you 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 may feel that it like you're not you're not able to really move on from them or give give up on this person. The six of swords in the reverse. This person has not moved on. They're not moving on from you, Sagittarius, but it's like they're not making the effort either. Because the ace of wands in reverse is like start, stop, on and off, delayed. Um something that's delayed or uh it's like a lack of progress a lack of progression here very very interesting let's see what's going on for you guys interesting this person has like low self-esteem and this is why confidence came out they don't feel good enough for you and it's almost like whether you know this or not they just um find themselves in this never-ending cycle of trying to better themselves or get their self together but they always feel like every time they try to they get 10 step they get pushed 10 steps back 
you have the fool in the reverse why is the queen of wands in reverse here for sagittarius oh i'm hearing like ringing in my ears could be dealing with a cancer why is the queen of wands here in reverse this is someone who's really insecure though two of cups in the reverse well yeah they're very insecure um, but it's, uh, you know what, I don't, I'm not picking up like a toxic insecure for some of you could be, but I'm getting more so like low self-esteem. Like this person doesn't feel good enough about themselves. So they don't feel good enough for you. And this is why they have not approached you. This is why they have not made any, um, any moves. Yeah. They have like an emotional insecurity as well. Whoa. We dealing with a Leo. Will of Fortune in the reverse. Yeah. Something's just been stagnant, not moving, not going forward. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Nine of Pentacles in, to, in the reverse is already um, maybe financial instability. You're not, stu you're not stable. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. It can also indicate someone who is codependent, needy. They can't do for themselves. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. What? what the hell are you telling me um Sagittarius that somebody is like um they're feeling like that like they need you tell me about the nine of pentacles in the reverse this could also be your story Sag maybe you feel like you want to leave somebody but you're not able to just yet someone could be lacking the confidence to move forward in their life Fear could be holding them back is what I'm picking up, Sagittarius. Six of Swords, the Hangman. You could be waiting for someone to maybe leave a toxic relationship or someone who is dealing with um, a toxic partner, a karmic partner, but they don't have the courage to leave. Or maybe their finances is stopping them from being able to really change their situation. So things are really on hold between you and this person, Sagittarius. Why is the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse here for Sagittarius? Who or what's coming for Sag in love? Why is the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse? Yeah, so it seems like this person wants to come back to you. If you haven't heard from them, they want to come back to you. They do, but it's just they have a lot on their plate that they're dealing with. They have a lot of shit that they're dealing with right now. Sag is what I'm picking up. And I do feel like the situation is a burden, too. I'm definitely not saying that you guys don't have it bad, too. It goes both ways, but there's a lot of pentacles here. I feel like this person just has some sort of um, finance, financial issues. They're not stable. They feel like they need to get themselves together before they can really come towards you, Sagittarius. Yeah. And for, for um, if also for them, some of them can have self-esteem, self-confidence problems. Why is the Ace of Wands in the reverse? Four of Pentacles, yeah. See, there's a lot of Pentacles. Could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But it's almost like um, someone could be dealing with an Aquarius, or you could be dealing with an Aquarius, or this person's karmic partner could be an Aquarius. But they're trying to detach. Someone is trying to trying to detach from something or someone. It's different for everyone. It's a general reading. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Why is the Seven of Pentacles here for Sagittarius? magician see you're waiting for this person to do something make something happen you're getting frustrated you want them to do something about this see you're getting sick and tired of waiting yeah you want them to just get the confidence and the courage to just come towards you already i'm telling you this person's very intimidated by you sagittarius they feel like you're really out of their league the magician you've been waiting for this see you've been waiting you're like what the fuck what are we doing here? And then the Seven of Pentacles is also here in the reverse. So you're getting frustrated. Waiting for this person to, to, to make it happen, to do something. You may or may not know that this person has some sort of, uh, like they don't feel good enough. You could be dealing with a Taurus. Why is the Six of Swords here? In the reverse. For this person that is coming towards the Sagittarius Collective in love. Why is the Six of Swords here in the reverse? Ooh. 
Okay, let's take that. The Nine of Swords, the world in reverse. Wow, see? They want to be in a relationship with you. They do. They do want to be in a relationship with you if this is someone that you're not already in a relationship with, right? But for the majority of you, I definitely don't feel like it's a relationship. This is an ex or just someone you were talking to, but... Yeah, they're definitely, uh, their world is all upside down without you, Sagittarius. They're in their head. You know, they're very sad. And they do want to work on this. They do want to build on this. But it's almost like this person just has some um, baggage that they need to release. They have things that they need to do that they need to take care of. I'm not seeing communication uh, right now. So let's see. Angels, tell me more about the situation for Sagittarius. Or what's coming towards Sagittarius in love? Tell me more. Tell me more, please. Yeah. They're wearing a false mask. See, they want to return. Eight of Cups in the reverse. Tell me more about the situation for Sag. They want to return. One more card. Who or what's coming towards Sagittarius in love? One more card, please, Spirit. See, someone from the past. I feel like you do share a past life relationship with this person. For a lot, for um, for some of you, this could be a twin flame soulmate, and you know this. You know that, because past life relationship came out. You've known each other before, but this person is lacking in the confidence and the courage to come towards you and seek their truth and get this ball rolling. Because, um, but they they want to really badly. They want to. Because they really do see this um, Ten of Cups with you, Sagittarius. They care about you. They love you a lot. But right now, um, he's just stuck right now. For some of them, they could have an ego. And ego does come with low self-esteem. So if you're feeling a low self-esteem, then it would be your ego. You would have an ego problem. Because <laughs> that's to compensate, you know, for the low self-esteem. That's what I'm seeing here, Sagittarius. Yeah. So I do see that they want to come back to you. They want to return to you, Sagittarius. But right now, I'm not seeing communication. I have to keep it real. They might not. If this is your story, they might not communicate with you. Okay, right now. But they intend to. They do intend to. And they do seem to have genuine interest in having a relationship with you. And um, making things stable between you two. But right now, it's almost like they have shit to take care of. They have a lot on their plate. So what I'm going to do, um, Sagittarius, I'm going to go ahead and extend this video because I want to see how they, what they're thinking about you, how they feel about you, what their current intentions are, and the possible outcome to see if they will communicate with you, okay? So we're going to take it to the extended. Thank you so much, Sagittarius, for tuning in. I love you all very much, and I will see you later.